हेलो डियो फ्रेंड्स एंड पेंशनर सो दोस्तों जो आईबीए का अभी एफिडेविट था दैट इज चैलेंज टू इन अ कोर्ट इन द एमसी सिंगल वर्सेस यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया केस एट द सुप्रीम कोर्ट तो गाइस प्लीज लाइक द वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब टू चैनल वो अभी हम चेक आउट करेंगे व्हाट इज द एग्जैक्ट सर्कुलर एंड व्हाट इज द एग्जैक्ट चैलेंज दैट इज द इन केस ऑफ द आईबी एफिडेविट सो आईबी एफिडेविट इन सुप्रीम कोर्ट कनेक्टेड विद एमसी सिंगल केस ऑन ऑपरेशन or pension whether it will come out within ambit of the contempt of the courts so exactly abhi hum check out karne wale hain friends so what constitutes contempt of court so it can be a civil contempt or criminal contempt civil contempt means willful disobedience to any this uh, judgment direction order writ or other process of court or willful breach of any undertaking given to a court so the pax court has enlarged the definition of contempt of court to also include tendering of false affidavit undertaking in court so the pax court recently in case of su moto contempt petition number 3 of 2021 in regarding pari kanskara decided on 11th july 2022 held that a person who makes a false statement before the court and makes an attempt to deceive the court or interfere with the administration of justice is guilty wo guilty hai friends of contempt of court the apex court in a uh, catena of the cases has consistently held that tendering of affidavit and uh, undertaking containing false statement would amount to criminal contempt aur isme jo aap dekh sakte hain jo cases hain inme aisa dosto ho rakha hai so in pari kansara case referred earlier the apex court discussed in length the earlier precedents and summed up this it is thus well settled that a person who makes a false statement before the court and make an attempt to deceive the court interferes with the administration of justice and is guilty of contempt of court so wo dosto guilty hai contempt of court ka the extracted portion above clearly shows that in such circumstances the court not only has the inherent power what it would be falling in its duty if the alleged contaminator is not dealt with in contempt jurisdiction for abusing the process of the court to yahan pe dosto aap check out kar sakte hain abhi contempt of court iba ka jo affidavit tha wo tha ke nahi tha so it is imperative that the litigation should not uh, uh, mistake any fact so as to deceive the court to obtain favorable orders not nor should file any false affidavit undertaking else they are bound to attack the ire of the court and liable for prosecution wo liable hai uh, for the prosec- uh, prosecution for contempt of court mein so i be affidavit uh, in supreme court that is wo contempt of court hai so two major areas coming under the ambit of contempt of courts kya kya hain willful disobedience uh, to any judicial di- direction order writ or other process of the court second at tendering of false affidavit and undertaking in the court and make an attempt to deceive the court to obtain favorable order to what extent the iba uh, affidavit come within the coverage of either or both of the above areas aap yahan pe check out kar sakte hain friends the honorable uh, supreme court of india in bank of baroda versus uh, g palani जजमेंट बाइड पैरा नाइन इंटरालिया उन्होंने कहा क्या कहा फ्रेंड्स द प्रोविजन कंटेन्ड इन रेगुलेशन टू डी टू एस थर्टी फाइव थर्टी सेवन एंड थर्टी एट आर एक्सट्रेक्टेड हेयर अंडर सो फर्स्ट इज देंशन सो बेसिक पेंशन एंड एडिशनल पेंशन वेयर एवर एप्लीकेबल शेल बी अपडेटेड एज पर दॉर्मूला गिवन इन अपेंडेक्स वन उसके बाद अगर आप चेकआउट करें इट कैन बी अंडरस्टूड फ्रॉम द अब स्टेटमेंट दैट द कोर्ट क्लियरली यूजेस द वर्ड द प्रोविजन कंटेन्ड इन द रेगुलेशन 35 आर एक्सट्रैक्टेड हियर अंडर एंड देन इंक्लूडेड रेगुलेशन 35 1 आल्सो अमंग अदर रेगुलेशंस एक्सट्रैक्टेड मींस टेकन आउट व्हिच शोस दैट देयर इज अ प्रोविजन फॉर अपडेशन ऑफ पेंशन ऑलरेडी इन पेंशन रेगुलेशन तो यहाँ पे प्रोविजन दोस्तों प्रावधान पेंशन रेगुलेशन एक्ट में है दैट इज इन बी ई पी आर अमेंडेड सो एज पर एज द पैक्स कोर्ट आल्सो हैज एम्फेटिकली कन्फर्म्ड 
the provision for updation of pension in the pension regulation the ibf deficit white para 3.7 mentioning uh, that there is no provision in pension regulation in 1995 for any updation in the pension of uh, bank employees and officer is not uh, only a willful disobedience to the judicial direction but also amounts to tendering of false affidavit and undertaking in the court and make an attempt to deceive the court to obtain favorable orders to yahan pe aap dosto check out kar sakte hain bhi ye jo affidavit hai wo clearly contempt of court dosto kar raha hai uske baad ye favorable orders lene ke liye dosto kara gaya hai again in the above referred judgment bank of baroda versus g plani the court has quoted and extracted relevant portions from the court three earlier जजमेंट नेमली तीन जजमेंट्स आई हैं तीन केसेस हैं अलग अलग द कॉमन पोर्शन फ्रॉम ऑल दिस थ्री जजमेंट क्या है अ पेंशन इज क्लोजली अकिन टू वेजेस इन दैट इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ पेमेंट प्रोवाइडेड बाय एन एम्प्लॉयर इज पेड इन कंसीडरेशन ऑफ पास सर्विस एंड सर्व द पर्पस ऑफ हेल्पिंग द रेसिपेंट मीट द एक्सपेंसेस ऑफ लिविंग बाय इक्वेटिंग पर्सनस विद वेजेस saying that payment provided by an employer in consideration of past service meaning deferred wages and mentioning that the same is meant for the recipient to meet the expenses of living uske baad dekhiye the implication is nothing but pension updation to happen synchronously with every wage revision to yahan pe aap dosto dekh sakte hain bhi kaise ek proper contempt of court yahan pe hua hai so यहाँ पे अगर आप देखें इट इज वर्थ नोटिंग दैट ऑल फोर सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजमेंट द अब रेफर्ड थ्री जजमेंट प्लस द प्रेजेंट जजमेंट इन बैंक ऑफ बड़ौदा और से जी प्लानिंग कंसिस्टेंटली एंड जूनी एम्बिंगली बॉयज फॉर अपडेशन ऑफ पेंशन ड्यूरिंग द ईयर सेवेंटी वन एट्टी थ्री नाइनटी सेवन एंड टू थाउजेंड एटीन आई कैनो टेक अ स्टैंड एज बींग इग्नोरेंट ऑफ दिस अफर्मेशन सिंस ऑलमोस्ट majority of the member banks were either parties to appeal in the tagged cases theek hai dosto or respondent further at the time of filing the contempt petition in supreme court various petitioners to the different tagged appeals have already sent contempt of court notice to all these banks thereby once again bringing the contents of judgment in bank of baroda versus g plani to yahan pe aap dosto ek bahut acha reference mil jata hai hame बायबल फॉर द बैंक to accept the representation claim of employees for operation of pension at par with the central government the world it would neither be appropriate in principle to yahan pe aap dosto dekh sakte hain a point mein the world it would neither be appropriate in principle the world nor would be financially viable for the banks to accept the representation and claim of employees for operation of pension jo second point hai it is very much against the judicial pronouncements in various supreme courts judgment that financial constraints cannot be reason for denying the legitimate right of the pensioners uh, that, uh, that is in the case of ds nakara versus union of india case mein agar aap dekhen the world operation of pension at par with central government to isme bhi aapko pata hai bhi jo rbi ho gaya central government ho gaya unki jo pension affairs wo each uh, स्पेशली सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट की पेंशन है जो हर सेटलमेंट के दौरान दोस्तों सेटल हो जाती है ऑटोमेटिकली बट हेयर इन द केस ऑफ द पेंशनर्स बैंक पेंशनर्स ऐसा नहीं है फ्रेंड्स तो दोस्तों दिस वाज दी मेजर अपडेट्स तो इसमें जो अगर कंक्लूजन को हम पढ़ें द होनरेबल सुप्रीम कोर्ट एक्सट्रैक्टिंग द एग्जिस्टिंग प्रोविजन फॉर ऑपरेशन ऑफ पेंशन from the pension regulation and still ib is stating that there is no provision for operation of pension in pension regulation the pax court 
further equating pension with wages indicating that the need for updation of pension with every wage pension consistently through four of his judgments but iba giving a deaf ear to it court repeatedly affirming it in different judgment that precarious financial conditions cannot deny wo deny nahi kar sakta jo legitimate rights hai pensioners ki and iba still mentioning the same reason for denying the legitimate right so the court quoting the words from the memorandum of settlement signed between iba and workman referring to the pension be broadly on the lines of central government rbi and iba blatantly distorting the position in the affidavit so iba despite signing the above referred memorandum wherein agreed to introduce da and pension on rbi pattern basing on the specific mandate from 58 member banks and still states that they need specific mandates from member banks for agreeing to updation of pension so bab narrative clearly brings that uh, the ib affidavit submitted in supreme court within the ambit of contempt of courts so no doubts on it so guys this was the major updates on uh, IBA false affidavit so guys please subscribe to channel channel ko dosto do subscribe kar lena for latest banking and pension updates and uh, that's all for the session thank you for watching please like the video that's all bye bye